Ant-Man Moto here. Hope you're having a great day. We're on our way to the Moto America races. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful Sunday. The air temperature is perfect. I don't know what it is. It feels like it might be 78 degrees right now. There's no humidity. It's very comfortable. And it's gonna be a perfect day to watch racing. I hope you enjoy the day with me at Road Atlanta for Moto America Superbike Racing. And today is day two. By the way, on day one yesterday, Saturday, it looked like Jake Gagne was out front setting the pace when he went down in uh, in turn five. That's uh, the one where you come out of the S's and you make the left going up the hill. He tucked the front end and crashed pretty hard. He's okay, but he couldn't continue. So Petrucci went on to win the race pretty easily. Petrucci actually complained about lap riders, which I thought was a trip because where he comes from, which is MotoGP, the absolute highest level of motorcycle racing, he's never dealt with lap riders. Like they don't lap the field there. He was really uh, unhappy about the slower riders in the, in the field. So anyway, we'll see what happens today. I think if Gagne can keep it on two wheels, he's going to uh, prevail. Let's see what we see. All right, I got to get my tickets and stuff, so I'll see you inside. Okay, that was pretty easy. We got ourselves a wristband pretty quick. Wow, I thought the line was going to be long, but thank you. I thought the line was going to be long, but we got in here instantaneously. Wow. Good job, Road Atlanta. Oh, there's some guys on the starting grid there. Yeah, we are in actual race mode right now, guys. As you can see, great turnout today. Lots of bikes. Gotta love it. Barreling through like an idiot. All right. Ooh. Nice street fighter. This bridge here, these little metal walls didn't used to be here and you could watch from the bridge, but that was a long time ago. So this is a great turnout today. These races were looking really dead for a while. I would say probably around after Ben Spees was done and after Matt Baladin kind of retired from racing. It just felt like it was kind of over at that point. And you'd come here and there would be like nobody in the, uh, in the paddock. Nobody, there wouldn't be any, any things, barely anything set up. Now look, you got a lot of stuff set up. It is really back. It's great to see racing looking like this again, people. Look, oh my gosh. It's like a carnival, oh my gosh. We got motorcycle parking over here. I think I'm going to, wow, looky here. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at the little rides for the kids. Oh, this is great. Wow, we can park here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Hi guys. Here we are. All right, nice and secured. I almost feel like I could, I mean, the temperature is that which I don't feel like I need to even change clothes. I brought some other stuff in case it was hot, but it's not hot, bro. Alright, one thing I will say 
about racing this year so far the ease with which i got in here this year is so awesome compared to past years first of all didn't even have to buy a paddock pass your ticket gets you into the paddock they used to charge a separate paddock pass look at the twin cup guys I think they're under red flag conditions because I think I heard them say something about dirt being kicked up. That's why they're going so slow. And those guys will go faster on a little Twins Cup bike than I could ever dream of going on my Tuono. You get in here, your, your ticket gets you into the paddock. I mean, it was a quick, quick scan my QR code. They gave me this little wristband, which will go in my wristband collection and you're just free to walk around plus they gave me twenty dollars off for being a veteran so thank you for that moto america and here we are in the pits i'm gonna go see my boy mr shepherd who's riding a ktm well i think i found shepherd's setup I'm not going to knock on his thing if he's napping, but uh, that was him. So anyway, these are where the twin, uh, the hooligan guys are set up back here. We're going to go towards the factory guys. Look at these Harleys. Back there and several riders down. Beautiful. Strata front end. A multi-strata front end. Yep. No kidding. So you drag, jack the bike up. So, oh, and then on this, I just put the zip tie up, but I am using all of that for travel. The dust seal, yeah, it's going down to there. Oh my God. So it's like- So you're just diving. I mean, it's just, everything is got. I need, yeah, because the thing is so, the weight is so low and it's so far back. My theory was to try to jack the bike up as much. You'll see the factory bikes are pretty high too. I don't yeah. know. I've cut strip from Home Depot, two inch strip down to the lengths I needed it, or the widths I needed it, and I just tacked it in place so it'd make it a little more rigid. Uh -huh. When I get back home, I'm gonna redesign this and make it out of uh, uh, rectangular or square tubing. Are you doing all the we'll events? see how finances go. Yeah. It's pretty expensive. Yeah. Just getting down here with $600 in fuel. Oh my God, $600 in fuel. And then you got tires and you got everything I else. Spent, uh, 1200 bucks in tires so far and i'm not throwing tires i did all of friday and saturday on one set of tires what's your name rob johnson rob johnson i'm dean ant-man moto on youtube ant-man moto yeah okay i might have seen some of your videos then i i'm, I'm it's pretty i'm just starting out but that's my card okay. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna put this on there though yeah yeah so I really Feel free to tag me. I'd love to. I have a channel, so I'll repost it to my channel. Oh, okay, I just cool. Don't have time to. I got you, dude. You, you're you're working, man. So that was Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson, and he is a, he's a genius, a mechanical genius, as you can see. Okay, we're gonna go over to turn one. They're racing. Woo! Look at this car. Dude's about to flip that car. <laughs> that is fast. Watch when they come around here at full speed. Just a quick rebuild between races. These are baggers. Baggers and hooligans.
I love about Moto America and motorcycle racing is how accessible everybody is. I love that. These are all the guys on, on track right now. That's why there's no bikes here. We're now approaching the factory teams. So these are the big boys here. Josh Heron's bike. I believe this is Danello's bike. Yep, it's Petrucci's bike. One of them. This is Roger Hayden's yeah. bike. <laughs> nice. That he rides for the parade lap, the demo lap. You've seen it on TV or on the app when he rides his bike. Very cool to see it in person. Westby team. Stoltz's bike. It is really fast. Those guys on a 660 set lap times, I can only dream of. <laughs> but I know this. See, I know this. That's half the battle. The champ is here. We'll see if he can retain that number one this year. So far, it hasn't been a good start for him, but a lot of racing left. Come on, Jake. When you come to the races, be ready to do a lot of walking. Massively popular across Europe when McWilliams started to tweet about his victory at Daytona. But here is a look at the current points my steps are going to be good today thanks for watching trying to look at the qualifying steps usually they put our time going up there the way they will line up but no question take those bags off right like we know they're baggers but take them off for racing lift them off right right different speed don't they faster oh robert go robert go robert get it robert johnson giving it to him so kyle wyman won his baggers race oh look Twelve fifty Pan American, love that bike. But shout out to you, Robert. Amazing effort, bro. I don't know if you heard me rooting for you. Look at that kid. What a maniac. 
he didn't seem too excited. I'd have been like going crazy if I was a kid doing something like that. All right, we're gonna go over to 5.6. I'm gonna mount the camera on the bike and we'll get some cool shots of the backside of the track. I don't know which way I'm supposed to exit. Oh, we got Yamahas. We got Indians. You know, the Indian that's most being ridden is that F12, I'm sure. FTR. What are we waiting for? I'm impatient. I'm sorry. I am. I'm an impatient ass. Okay, we're going to go down. Ooh, this feels good. After sweating my gonads off. Please don't turn right. God. So we're now going down past the little uh, chicane up here. And the S's are just to our left. Where they go down through the S's. And then they come out into five where Jake Gagne crashed and uh, Fong crashed there today. So that turn five has been getting a lot of guys. They said Fong, his, uh, his bag on his bagger actually caught the curbing. I mean, go figure that. So yeah, he crashed right there, right into this gravel trap right here. That's turn five. I love to see all the guys on bikes out, you know, motorcycles are still alive. They seem to be doing well nowadays. There was, a, like I said, a bit of a lull for a while there, it had me nervous in like 2010. Look at all these Harleys. That's a little track right there, a little mini track. I used to ride on it and mess around, but I have a feeling if you try to do anything for fun, they'll tell you, somebody will tell you to stop. <laughs> Everything and everybody's so serious now. Okay, we're going to the back of the track, over to five, or six, seven. This is turn seven right here. And that is what leads you onto the back straight. This little, this little area is really cool to watch. All right, let's see what we can see here. I think I watched the race with my helmet on. No, it's just everywhere you look, there's nice bikes. That six and that seven. And coming through here, what I learned, Kyle, or not Kyle Wyman, Josh Heron is racing the Ducati in the Super Sport Series this year. I did not know that. Good chance he's gonna come through here first. Yep, there he is. And then they go down the back straight there. And they are, I don't know, they are cooking, man. I don't know what his lap times are, but they're freaking really fast. Doesn't that Aprilia look beautiful? Oh, I love it. <laughs> wow, Josh is getting caught by somebody. Oh my gosh. Josh didn't look happy. I think this might be my next motorcycle. Seriously, the Africa Twin. I just, I keep seeing it and it's just piquing my interest. And you know, when I get done going fast on the Tuono and scaring the crap out of myself, I could see having one of these, man. Look at Josh. Whoa. Why does he keep saying no right there? And Josh Heron won, pretty convincing.
Good job, guys. I could still smoke you. <laughs> there she is. The dream. She's just sitting here waiting for me. This isn't someone else's machine. This is mine. I, I, I sometimes walk up to it and I have to walk away from it and then do it again just to see. Wow. Look at that. If you know bikes, you know this is a masterpiece. And it's been on this track. I just had it up in the Dragon. As you can see, I did a pretty good job washing it last night. All that's clean down there. I cleaned all the gunk out. Cleaned the chain. I, I respect this machine. If I take it up to the Dragon and beat it up for a few days, when I get home, the first thing it gets is a bath and a, and a lube, lube job. Wheelie Hill, we're passing right now. Hats off to Medallia, the title sponsor for Moto America Racing this year. Hats off to them for digging into their pocketbook. And these guys are twin cup guys. They're already taken to the track. I was gonna try to catch the crashed bike. This is the back straight, as you can see. We get speeds of about 150 mile an hour back there. Ken will hit 160. Superbikes will hit 180. You know, the thing I love about motorcycles and riding and being involved in them all these years is like everybody's cool. Everybody is like your brother and accepting. Even if they ride the gnarliest Harley Davidson or the stretched out super stretch Busa, these are your brothers. And whenever you meet somebody that rides, it's like you meet a friend. Back in the heyday, this little area right here would just be filled with, with people walking and bikes. And it is still kind of sparse for my liking, but you know, what are you gonna do? I'm just giving you the scenic route. I tried to do this break-in thing, and I think it screwed him up. Cam. Five hard, five soft. I think I should have followed uh, Dave's advice and just rode with the damn things. I never had this problem before. Loud brakes. I'm gonna put my old brake pads back on. <laughs> this is Road Atlanta on race day for super bikes, for motorcycles. See, riding is so much better than driving because when you ride, you can get around. When you drive, you're, you're just parked. Let's see if we can get in here. They didn't say nothing. Hallelujah. So. Cool. Nobody said anything. I mean, you can even ride your bike into the freaking pits. How cool is this? I can't believe they're letting me ride into the pits. That's so out of control. What's up? We meet in person. Finally. Last time I, I uh, met Travis, the first time he said, oh my God, we're, we're IRL. <laughs> I was like, what's that? In real life. What's going on, man? <laughs> Good to see you, brother. Good to see you too, man. Good to see you. You too. Good to finally meet you. I uh, 
I, I, I saw the picture with you and Nikki Hayden. I was like, yep, we were, we're, we're like the same. We're like the same age. That, that was me back then. Yeah. And now, you know, we're still at it, huh? I tell in the picture, but I had leopard hair. Did you? Yeah, because that's what Nikki Because that's what he had. Yeah. That's Dude, right. We get here and it's just like bleached and blah. I'm like, oh. <laughs> there she is. She looks. In all her glory. <laughs> man, I bet you this thing rips. It's a blast. God. Riding through the pits. Oh, they're all putting up. See? They're all putting their stuff away. I just heard while I was in the restroom that Kayla Yakov, who's 14 years old, just won her race. Let's see if we can see her. Look at her. Oh. Did you see tears come out of her eyes? I think that cost him. Yeah, and it looked like he put himself in a good spot, but you know, Max Van leading that last lap. I kind of told you I thought he was a set up. Great group, count yourself. You're about to be going out to the rest of the world. We have a female winner here. You can hear those. You can hear the traction control, boy. We're getting over to turn one if we can get there before the race is over. God. That was Jake Gagne. And that was Cam Peterson. Couldn't think of his name earlier. Good God. Chris! Those electronics, you can just hear it all the way up, huh? All right, Mr. Joe is out here right now on track, King of the Baggers. Or excuse me, Roland Sand Hooligan Race. These are the leaders. Right there, 17. About to make a pass on a guy. Yeah.
They are flying. Joe taking that wide line. <laughs> wow, good job, brother. <laughs> you were battling. Jeremy McWilliams. That's why. God. Nate Kern. Good job, Nate Kern. Hey, you did good with what you had. <laughs> Nate Kern. That 1098 over there sounds very Ducati ish, doesn't it? Very good to us again this weekend. So that was the superbike races along with the hooligan race and some really cool people out there just putting it all on the line. That was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Ant Man Moto, like, subscribe if you like motorcycles, if you like racing, if you like Aprilia Tuonos, if you like track days and if you like motorcycle related things this is my passion this is what i love this is the world i like to be in when i'm not you know in my other life of work and family and even if i wasn't working even if i was retired which maybe i will be one day i'll still be doing this because this is just, this is what makes, you know, this is what makes it all worth it for me. Just being around bikes. So if you're like that, if you're into it too, then give me a like, a subscribe. Come back again, and I'll see you on the next one. Ant-Man Moto. Peace. Hey! <laughs>